Make sure I hit that like button for more banger videos like this, man. Man, what's good with y'all boys? It's your boy Pardo back with another banger, man. As you can see from the thumbnail and the title, bro, I got a different type of video for y'all. But make sure I hit that like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notice if you're new, you know what I'm saying? If y'all looking at this video right now, I made it this far into the video, even though it hasn't even been that long. But let me know what type of videos y'all want me to do or if y'all want me to make another build and bring some new content for y'all boys. Because I don't know what to post, you know what I'm saying? Just bring y'all content for y'all boys. So just let me know in the comment section. But, you know what I'm saying? As y'all can see, I'm at 1K and 95 subscribers, bro. 1,095 subscribers, bro. Five, all, five subscribers off 1.1K, bro. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're watching this video and turn on post notice so you never miss a banger, man. But, bro, today I'm finna be bringing y'all, you know what I'm saying, something new, bro. Some, something different, bro. It's not like an actual bad setup video, but it's kind of different, you feel me? It's like, it's basically telling all the comp centers, or if you're trying to be a comp center, the the best badges to use on the game and what is more what badges are necessary like if, if you don't know how to use other badges the best badges that will get the job done even if you don't know like other badges so like the the top badges to use in on the center build in, in general I'll do every category you know what I'm saying but mostly the finishing and defensive you know what I'm saying but we're gonna get into the video bro make sure y'all hit that subscribe button hit that smash that like button get this video to 10 likes turn the post notice if you're new and drop a comment and let me know if y'all like this video you know what i'm saying there's something new so yeah if y'all hear me sniffling also i got a little sniffles but i'm still trying to bring y'all content but let me you know what I'm saying? let me mute this shit real quick real quick real quick for y'all boys all right all right so we're gonna start with the finishing bro the 10 badges that i think y'all should need well not 10 badges but you know what i'm saying it's five badges that i think y'all need on this game that every center should use is Fast twitch because it'll make you dunk the ball extremely fast. I'm taking my camera off so y'all can see how many badges I got. So you got fast twitch because it makes you dunk the ball extremely fast under the rim. You know what I'm saying? It speeds up your dunks and layups. So, like, say if you say a block and somebody throw you the ball, you'll go up fast enough so you don't get blocked. Limitless takeoff, that's how you can get your your layup and dunk animations further. That's how you get the MJ dunk, because if you don't have this, I don't think you would be getting MJ dunk from free throw line. Post rider, so you get your contact dunk, so you can post your little tickies or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? If you got contact dunk, slowly finish it so you don't get bumped when you're trying to get a contact dunk, so you can just dunk on them. I use riser so I, I don't, so I can go under, take under the basket dunks more easier and not miss as much. But fearless finisher, I feel like this badge right here makes you do a lot of layups, so I would throw this badge on this. You know what I'm saying? I, I was just testing it out for a video, but this is my badge setup right here. You know what I'm saying? This is the badge setup. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like to switch it up and uh, drop this and this and then put putback balls, because you could do putbacks from this, but I feel like these are the best right here. That right there. And if you get a shooting badge, of course, put it on slippery off ball if you only get one shooting badge because it helps you slip and what that. C says, when attempting to get open off the screen, the player more effectively navigates through traffic. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you don't get bumped when you slip and stuff like that. I don't think any of these other badges will be helping you, sh um, like, other than that badge. And the badges I use on here is bullet passer go so your passes will be a lot quicker and not slower And then I use unpluggable so I don't get ripped as much even though you still get ripped You still put that on so it don't happen as much because a lot of people like to dick ride All right, oh my god, these are my one for one court badges So let me let me reset my badges for y'all. We just gonna fuck it. We're gonna do it straight from We're just gonna do it straight like this I'm gonna put all my badges. So, of course, you know the two badges, the, your first two badges you should put on on this game, no matter what, is Rebound Chaser Hall of Fame and Rim Protector Hall of Fame. These are the best badges. If you have defensive badges for a center build, these are the best badges you need to put on your center. Rebound Chaser because it helps you get rebounds. It's basically hustle rebounder from any other 2K. And you can track down boards. It helps you with long distance boards. And Rim Protector because it helps you get better block and animations. Helps you snatch block. It helps you take over with your teammates also. It improves a lot of things. It helps you not get dunked on as much, but you might still get dunked on. You get special. You know what I'm saying? You read it, it says improves ability to block shots, reduce chance of getting dunked on, and unlocks special block animations. You know what I'm saying? This, these two are the best badges. The first two badges you need to put on. I feel like. 
And then second badge, Intimidator Hall of Fame, bro. Intimid this Intimidator on this game is really necessary. I ain't gonna lie. I used to use it on silver, but I feel like if I, when I put it on Hall of Fame, I get a lot of Intimidator misses. You know, like, say if a nigga throws a lob, ice on y'all, y'all run down to the paint and you jump at him. You don't block it, but he missed. That's an Intimidator miss. That means you made a miss because you got an Intimidator on. But those come in so clutch, bro, because when you, you got to help a lock that has no defense and you need to get a stop, bro. That's why I run Intimidator Hall of Fame. You know what I'm saying? It also says offensive players. Y'all seen this badge before, so y'all know what it means. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to read that to y'all. Y'all can read it for you for yourselves. And then, Box Hall of Fame. Because a, a lot of people in this game have versatile paint beasts. And, ver and this will help you be able to not get wormed or anything like that. So, make sure you put that on Box Hall of Fame. And then change your box out settings too. And then help you not get wormed as as much on this game I, ain't gonna lie. I got a video on box out settings and defensive settings if you want to look at that link will be in the description and then uh, next bad chase the artist hall of fame bruh this badge right there this badge this badge right here do that actually you don't need Chase the Artist Hall of Fame. I haven't used Chase the Artist Hall of Fame in a minute, but you can use that. Uh, I don't think Intercept the Hall of Fame really helps. I ain't gonna lie. So I feel like this badge right here, and you don't, you don't need Brickwall Hall of Fame unless you're playing unless you're playing a uh, one for one quarter playing against a big lineup so this is what the brick wall badge does y'all probably know it's a little different it's not like the same as all the other two kids but this badge makes it tougher for defenders to get around the screens and harder for, for offensive players to back you down so this badge is a defensive and offensive badge basically it's basically an offensive and defensive badge this year so i put that on silver because it says uh, it's increased effectiveness of screen and it's tough to back down in the post. It drains uh, energy of opponents on physical contact. So you can use that on Hall of Fame. I feel like it's good on silver, but that's just me. So I'll put my badges like this. This is how I run it. All right, cause box so you don't get wormed. Chase down artist so you can get the, the sneaky uh the sneaky chase downs and it speeds up your players for block animation so you know what I'm saying you get that you know what I'm saying you hawk the lanes and whatnot so the badge is we got need these two you need intimidator try and get chase down artist hall of fame box hall of fame that's five right there and then make sure you got brick wall on if you're a type of center any brick wall don't matter you can put it on bronze for all I care make sure you got brick wall on because some of y'all don't know how to set screens. Menace Hall of Fame, bro. This badge right here, I'm gonna make a separate video for it, bro. This is a sneaky badge. I'm gonna bring a video for y'all boys talking about Menace. If y'all made it this far in the video, make sure you hit the like, comment, subscribe. But I'm gonna drop a video for y'all talking about Menace. This badge right here is a badge that was on the previous 2Ks, but it has a different name. So it's a sneaky badge that a lot of people don't know about on this game. A lot of y'all probably do know about it, but a lot of y'all don't. So that's why I run the Hall of Fame. I ain't going to get into it because I ain't trying to throw out the sauce. I'm gatekeeping right now until I drop the video. But Ball Stripper also because a lot of people in this game pump fake a lot. So you don't need to jump. That's why I took Pogo Stick off so you, I can play a little bit more smarter. So I took Pogo Stick off and just put Ball Stripper on. Because a lot of people pump fake. And if you just spam square, most of the time you'll get a rip because they'll just keep pump faking. So that's why I run Pickpocket and Ball Stripper. Hustler, also, if you put this higher, you'll get every loose ball that your guard, like, say if your guard does the wrong move and it bounces off the, the opponent's leg, you'll get that and pick it up for him and save him. So that's why I run it on bronze. At least you can put it on silver, but this, this is what I would run for all new type of centers or any center that's trying to be caught. These are the best badges to use right here, you know what I'm saying? I'm just putting it on. Or if anything, if you want to, you can put it like this and go like that, but... I just run it like that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Something light for y'all boys, bro. This is just a new video. I want to see how this would go for y'all boys. So make sure that like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you're new, bro. This is basically like a bad set of video for must must use badges for centers or any build that has defensive and finishing badges. So it's your boy Pond on here. Out. Make sure you hit that noty bell for another banger for tomorrow.